a bit of wartime urbex today. We've been talking to an old historian and he's highlighted on this map a few locations where he remembers Second World War air raid shelters being sighted. Today, using the map, we're on a mission to see if we can find the remains of any of these old air raid shelters. Wait, are we filming this today? Filming it today, yeah. I can't. Why not? I've got a date this afternoon. With a girl? Yeah. <laughs> just, just me and you then, Ian. Yeah. Just me and you then. Yeah. Right, so back to the map then, aren't you? Yeah. Are you going to tell them where we met this old historian? We uh, met this old historian in a pub. Yes. Yes. Yeah. So I must say, the locations that he's given us are only approximate. Yeah? yeah. So what's the compass for then? The compass? Yeah. It's just there for show to look good on the table. Oh. But, <laughs> thank, thanks for asking. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, good luck then, Cal. Well, thank you. Yeah, good, good luck. luck. And we'll see you when we finish filming. Yeah. Right. Let's go and see if we can find anything. Come on then. Let's have a lovely day. Bring the map, that's it. We need that. We don't need the compass. It's like Goonies, ain't it? Look how old it is. Oh, oh. Yeah, cloth back map this. Look at that. The real deal. World yeah. War II Wendell. Kepsi. Little bit of Herbex. This is Wendell Mobile. So the first site that our friend identified it for us then, that he thinks there used to be an air raid shelter on was just here, this patch of land here. Now it's looking very flat. Yeah. You can see this house is built all around it. Let's have a quick look. I don't think we're going to have much joy here though. We'll look for a little uh, hatch. But I was expecting something a bit raised. What size? By a drain size? Yeah, drain cover size really. Or slightly bigger. There is a slight ridge, isn't there? Yeah, a slight ridge. You got one? Is that? Yeah. Concrete. Turn it, or is that electrical? And then there's ladders. I'm not sure. Yeah, you need the keys, don't well, you? Uh, it's you only know. twirly things, you put them in. Yeah, yeah. You get a screwdriver in that. Twist it, pull up. You know, you might be right. I mean, That'd be ideal. Which way does it go though? Would it go through the gardens? Or? There are a couple of electrical things there, but that's diamond cable, that one, isn't it? Yeah. So that's not going to be uh, They'll go anything on tour. They are, yeah, you're right. You know, that, that could well be, couldn't it? Concrete as well, ain't it? We've not got any tools with us, have we? Yeah. Right, I think this one... Is a comeback to. Is a definite comeback to for another yeah. day. Is that just that a post? It. That's just a garden fence post, isn't yeah. it? Yeah, this is a definite comeback to, this yeah. one. That's ideal on the metal round it. It looks old enough, doesn't it? It's got some age to it. I'm thinking that. I'm thinking you might be right. Because these houses... Remember, this, this could be it, yeah. I mean, these look like 1950s houses, so these are probably after the war anyway. So these were probably built after, so it could even be in that, under that back garden, couldn't it? Could be. Right, I think we'll come back to this one. Yep. Mark this one as a possible. Yep. And stay tuned to World War II Wendell. A lot more exploring to come. A lot more. Right, let's try the next site anyway. We've got three. We've got three highlighted. Tell them this is a good one, doesn't it? <laughs> well, he's too busy, isn't he? Yeah. Too busy today. He's gone to a hot tub party. Yeah. Here's a picture. When we've got back to the van, yeah. we've realised we've got the magnet fishing kit. And in his bucket from last week was this little chainsaw wrench. Now that could well be enough just to lift up that hatch and see what's in there. I'm just going to give the camera a quick wipe and then we'll come back to this. Come on then Ian. Give it a prize. No, no, no. Try and get in there. It's going to be a big piece of concrete. Just try and get in there and just try and lift it tiny. Yeah, it's going. Be all right. You gotta get. Do you want? Do you want me to have a go? I'm, I'm the experienced. Uh, that's it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. When you say that, I, I did actually uh, meet with a chap from Leicester University Archaeological Department last week. 
There was the chap who found King Richard III. Nice chap. Come on, Ian, use that muscle. Big fun. It'd be unbelievable, wouldn't it? First, first try. Shall I get my? I don't know. How we could film it and get my fingers in as well. Is your hammer in the van? No. It is, isn't it? Is it? Hammer's in your bucket. Shall I have a go? Yeah, I've got the mad skills. Yeah. See me snap the tool now. Yeah, there you are then. I'll tell you what, this yeah. ain't off a deep piece of heavy lid, isn't it? Yeah. Covering something good then. You watch your fingers. I'm watching my fingies. We need two, don't we? We need yeah. two tools. Oh, yeah, let's move now. We're not really prepared for this, are we? Despite no. the fact that we knew what we were doing. Right, what are you saying then? Shelter or drain? Oh, it's a bloody drain. Oh. Nothing more than a drain, that one, I'm afraid. Yeah. So at least we know now. Yeah. On to the next one. Let's keep the search going. We're not beaten. We're World War II Wendell. We only get beaten at night. We've arrived at the second location then, that the old historian told us about, and we've got a feeling we're about to have a lot more joy, ain't we Ian? Oh yes. That is providing it's not been filled in, because there's a big raised mound just here, and if we scan this way, look. This to me looks like the emergency exit of a public air aid shelter. This shelter here then looks like it's a sunken shelter, so they've dug it out, put the panels in or the brickwork, whatever it's made of, and then filled the mud in and put the mud on top as well. Now these weren't designed to take a direct bomb hit. These were meant in case of falling buildings and things like that. They didn't make these that big either. Uh, the Civil Defence Act of 1939 said something like, um, to lessen the number of casualties from a direct hit, the size of the shelter shouldn't go over 50 people. Is that right Ian? Yeah. That's right. So let's have a look, see if it is one. Come on in, do the honours. Ooh, look at all them. Now, is it bricked up? Is it filled in? Oh, fingers crossed it's not. What we got then? Ew, beauty! Look at this, Ian's the man with the torch. Now obviously from these cobwebs, look. Oh, it's, it looks partially filmed in. Shall I do the honours? Yeah. You gonna film my man? Yeah. I shall hand over to Ian. Let's do a switcher Ah, right, thank you. <laughs> now, what we're going to find down here? It looks like builder's waste to me. Oh, it's here, Ian. It's all still here. Is it? It's perfect. It is perfect. Pass me that camera. Have a look at this. Second World War. 50 person, concrete, air raid shelter. Right, I'll jump down, because obviously someone's filled in part of it with some rubble just below me. But the large part's clear. I'll jump down so he can get in. I'll film him just getting in. Come on then, Ian. Down you come. Here he is. Uncle Ian. Urban explorer. Extraordinaire. So this is a public air raid shelter then. Probably a 50 man on, which were the most common. And look at this. Prefabricated concrete, this is. It's absolutely dripping wet. You can see where the reinforced rods are there where the concrete's just breaking down a little bit but this thing will stand for another hundred years sorry if you can see any swearing written on the walls 
Obviously, at some point, the idiots have been in here. Some would say there's a couple of idiots in here now. <laughs> Let's go and have a look at the main entrance then, Ian. So this would have been the main entrance. Now, we couldn't see this from the top, so presumably this is all filled in. Oh, it's uh, pretty much filled in. That's the ground level there, look. Yeah. So yeah, that would have been the main entrance. Pots and pans. Pots and pans? <laughs> Old ones there, aren't they? Uh, I don't know. Got, they've got to have some age, haven't they? Yeah. Old asbestos. Look that. You enjoying that? Yeah. Oh, I love things like this. Can't believe we've found one. Well, I can. With the windows. Yeah. Uh, some chairs in here, look. Exhaust. Old car exhaust, yeah. What's the ground, mate? Is it ground concrete? Yeah. Concrete? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It is, isn't it? You think during the war, yeah, people would have actually come in here. We're just going to have a quick look around and see if there's old, any old relics from the days of the Second World War when it was an air raid shelter. Obviously, these deck chairs definitely are not. Mm. Old frying pan. Looks like at some point someone's been down here on a bit of a play. What you got there, then, Ian? Old barrel of some sort. Another one? Oh. What, what do you reckon that is then? Just an incinerator. Incinerator. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's, got, what's that? it's got some on it. Some writing on it. Elsan. Elsan. You think incinerator? Give that a sniff then, see if it smells like petrol in. Give it a good sniff. Put your head right in it. Right in. Sniff it, deep deep breath. Right. That's got do you want to. Um, does it smell like petrol? No. What does it smell like? Old and dirty. Do you know what that is, Ian? That is original to this air raid shelter. What would you think 50 people might need during the night? A win. It's the old toilet. You're joking. No. I, my head in there. I know, yeah. Elsa, they're, they're the toilets that they had in these. So that's original. That's the old toilet seat, what's left of it. Yeah. Oh, thanks very much. They're also the ones that they had on uh, Lancaster bombers, Elsa. So do you want to hold that up again? Just the sign so we can show everybody yeah, that. No, no, I've got my Oh, come on. No one's had a pee in that for. 80 odd years. Yeah, look, Elsan, see that? Incredible. Piece of uh, history, history, that is. I'm a piece of history. Yeah. I'm holding a piece of history. You are holding a piece of history. It's the toilet. Yeah, that someone tiddled on yeah. during the Second World War. So it is, yeah. What a find that is. And that, that would be original to this. I've got no doubt about it. There's no other way that would be down here. Oh, so, yeah. Anything there? else? That seats. Fairly old, but there's not much left of it, is there? Can't see anything else. Anything else looks like it'd be buried under this yeah. concrete, doesn't it? Old park benches ended up down here, look. Old sign, fire exit, that's definitely not wartime. We can't really show you the walls, because, uh, well, I will. There's, there's, yeah, there's swear words on them. But everything else is obviously buried. So we found one. Thanks very much to our historian friend. He has asked not to be named, I don't know why, but he's asked not to be named. Yeah, we found one. Thank you very much. Ian, put your head back in that. No. <laughs> Snitch up, that was. Hey, as soon as I read the name on it, I thought, I know what that is. So let's just give you an idea of size then. Ian's probably about 10 metres from me, where he is there. And the entire thing's probably 12 metres, 13 metres long. Reinforced concrete. These could have been made at Barrow. Barrow upon saw just up the road that uh, produced these. The Ellis works. Oh, yeah, Ellis. Yeah. So they've not had to travel far. Yeah, really, really interesting. Well, you've enjoyed this. This is World War II Wendell, back to our roots. This is what we started doing back in the day, two and a half years ago. This is our sort of thing. We love this. World War II Wendell anyway. Thanks for viewing. Yeah. We've got to go. Okay. And we'll see you next time. Here it comes. Oh. Fully smelling that. <laughs> Did it smell like paraffin or burning the end? No. No. Funny that. Ugh. I enjoyed that. Right. That's my sort of thing. Yeah. yeah. Back. That's it. Pull the lid back on. Let's go. Home time. Yeah.